province on the northeastern coast of Luzon in the Philippines. It has a colorful cultural history, its people a varied mix of cultures, and its geography awesome. But what strikes many visitors to this part of the country is one unexpected of a place steep in mysticism and lore, its Catholic heritage. Cagayan was among the first provinces colonized by the Spaniards and placed under the yoke of Christianity. The present-day town of Lalo was named Ciudad Nueva Segovia in 1581. A diocese was established here in 1595. From here, Spanish missionaries preached the Catholic faith to the rest of northern Luzon up to the mid-1700s when the diocese was transferred to Vigan Ilocosur. Going from one town to another in Cagayan, one cannot help but be amazed by the many centuries-old cathedrals and buildings that dot much of the Cagayan landscape. These edifices not only reflect the devout faith that has come to characterize the province, but are also testaments to the ingenuity and master workmanship of its people. Today, Cagayan province is a much sought-after pilgrimage hub for the devout, while bubbling is a viable alternative to many of the Philippines' travel destinations. Tricycles, tricycles, and more tricycles. Anywhere you go in Cagayan North, chances are you'll see a tricycle. Not only are tricycles the basic transport in the province, they are also a main source of livelihood as well. In the capital city of Tupigarao alone, there are 9,000 registered tricycles. There are hordes more scuttling and buzzing away all across the province. These colorful three-wheeled conveyances have evolved into something uniquely Filipino. For mere utilitarian purposes, the Filipino tricycle has morphed into a colorful spectacle of Filipino folk baroque art, emblazoned with paintings, buntings, and designs of all kinds that vary according to the tastes of the different locales they're found in. Cagayan North has two main variants to the tricycle motif. There's what they call a sidecar, which is actually your typical five-seater tricycle. But endemic to Cagayan is the four-wheeled motorella, also called the center car, which looks a little bit like its three-wheeled cousin, the Thai tuk-tuk. Seating up to 10 people, motorellas are a convenient mode of transportation for long journeys. And drivers claim they can even take you to any point in Cagayan North, or if you're willing enough, even to the neighboring Isabella province. If China is the bicycle kingdom, then Cagayan North would definitely be tricycle country.